and hello YouTube, this is GS Man of Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Tutorials GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to create your own splash screen for GIMP. So when you're opening your GIMP program, you'll actually see your own customized splash screen. So if we open up GIMP, you'll see that this is my current splash screen right now. Uh, the original GIMP splash screen, I don't really like that much, so I decided to create my own. Uh, the one that you just saw right now, I didn't create that one, I didn't design that one, I actually got it off of Google, but I'm going to be designing my own right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to design your own splash screen. It's going to be really basic, I don't want to make the video very long, I just want to, you know, sort of show you how to generally make a splash screen, and then you can get as creative as you want with it and make some really awesome stuff. And if you want to link your creations in the comments, you know, share your splash screen, that'd be a great little thing we could do. But, anyway... Let's go ahead and first show you what a general splash screen should look like. You saw the uh, one that I just had when I opened GIMP, but let's go ahead and create our own real quick. I'm going to go to File, New, and be aware, if you make this very big, your splash screen will be very big. If you make it very small, your splash screen will be very small. So these numbers do matter. You don't want to make it less than 300 by 200 because then your text and your image will be cut off. So we're going to make something along the lines of 700 by 350. That looks, that looks good. And we're going to change our background color to black with the bucket tool. And let's see, what's really basic? What can we make that's really basic? Um, I'm thinking clouds. Something along the lines of clouds. Let's go ahead and just make some clouds at the bottom. Grab our ellipse tool. And create a new layer, new transparent layer. Click OK change our foreground color to white and let's just create some clouds this looks like a good cloud here right I guess kind of right yeah it looks like a good cloud let's just fill it in and I'm gonna create separate layers for this just so that in case I need to move them around and this cloud looks very cloudy I guess yeah. Yeah, that, that looks good. Now let's create the last layer. Grab our ellipse tool again and create our last cloud, which is going to be something like that. Like I said, you can get as creative as you want with this. I think it's a really cool thing that GIMP allows you to do. Uh, these clouds look kind of weird. I kind of want this cloud to go down a bit. So let's undo that, and maybe something like that. There we go. That looks a little, a little better, I guess. I don't know, but so we have our like little cloud design at the bottom, pretty basic. And next thing we want to do is go to our desktop, and I have this uh, GIMP logo here. We're just gonna drag it in. And we're going to use our scale tool to make it smaller. And a little smaller. How about that size? Uh, a little smaller. What about this size? Yeah, I guess that size will work. No, what do we want is on the left side, right side. I think on the right side will do. Right side or left side? I don't know. I think. I think on the right side. Or in the middle. Could do in the middle. I mean, the middle looks kind of awkward. I don't know. Left side? Right side? Let's just go right side. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Right side, and then let's go ahead and grab our text tool. And we're just going to type in GIMP. And then we're going to make this. I'm going to highlight this and make this pretty big. 100 font. Is that too big? Yeah, it's a little too big. Let's bring this down to like 80 maybe. Yeah, 80 looks a little better. And if you want to use a different font, you can. 
I mean, I have, I mean, I have tons of fonts here. Let's go with. go with that why not and let's actually make this a little bigger 90 perhaps yeah 90 is fine and then we're gonna go ahead and create another text layer we're gonna go zoom in here because what I want to accomplish is we're gonna write the GNU manipulation program, the GNU image manipulation program. So let's make this smaller, maybe like size 20. So the GNU image manipulation program. And you can get as technical as you want with this. I mean, you could, you know, even put like, you know, some crazy stuff like created by your name or, you know, image copyrighted by. You can make this very professional if you want. All right. So now that we have that, maybe this should be a little smaller. Let's go size 15. Size 15. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. You just grab my measuring tool here and compare. Let's move the text a little bit to the left. There we go. And then what we want to do is make another text layer and here we're gonna write 2.8 because we're on GIMP version 2.8 and this is gonna be size 100 and actually hmm you know it'll be cool if we if we can do this we can come in here and grab our measuring tool well, this little ruler, that's what it's called, not a measuring tool. And we're gonna grab this and move this over, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and scale this up some. Maybe to like 125. Or is that too big? Actually, that's not too big. I don't know if I like that. It looks kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. That wasn't how I expected it would be. Instead of that, maybe let's scale the layer Does that look any better? Not really. Scale it down a bit. Like so, maybe? Move this a little bit over. How does that look? Does that look awkward? I don't know. I think it looks, I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. Alright, so there is our... There is our splash screen that we created. Very basic, very simple. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Uh, there are some awesome splash screens I saw on Google. But uh, say, say you're done here. We're gonna go ahead and go to File, Export, go to our desktop, and we're gonna name this my splash screen .png. And then we can close this. I'm not gonna save because I'm not really gonna do anything. But the next thing you want to do is go to your go to your file explorer here. Where your folders are and then go to your computer with mine is windows os your c drive basically you want to go to your c drive and you want to find your gimp folder my gimp folder is in users and then my username and then here it is in yours it'll probably be in the same place and then go into your gimp folder and you'll see here i have a splashes a 
splashes folder. Now, if you don't have a splashes folder, just go ahead and create one. All you need to do is right click and go to new, and then folder, and then just create one that says splashes. Make sure it's all lowercase. And as you see, here is the image that you saw in the very beginning. Looks pretty cool. Obviously, a lot more time and effort put into than the one that we just created, but I like it. it looks pretty cool. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to go to our desktop, and we're just going to drag this in here. And we don't need this one anymore. And actually, I think I think if you have several in them, it'll randomly pick one. I don't know. Let's, let's find out. I haven't tried that yet. But now we have these two in. We can close that. And now we open our GIMP. Let's see if it changes. Because I think I think it randomly opens some of them. Yeah, there we go. See, there's our little there's our little screen, our little uh, GIMP screen. Game 2.8, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks neat. All right, so that's pretty much it for the, t the uh, tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you liked it. You can put several uh, different um, images into the Splashes folder, and it'll randomly pick one. So if you want to you know, do something like that, that'd be cool. If you want to look for your own, if you want to look for like custom custom ones, and here's one I found. The only thing I did here was take out the uh, loading here because I thought it looked kind of awkward. But you can literally just type in, uh, GIMP splash screens and then go to images and there's a bunch here that people have created some of them look really cool I like this one a lot but it looks too squarey for me I like this one a lot if it was like wider maybe maybe I'll make a you know sort of a, kind of a replica of this for my own GIMP but they have plenty of the uh, GIMP splash screens here and you can create your own or you can just pick one of these and all you gotta do is um, save the image and then drag it into the splashes folder and you'll basically have a custom splash screen if you don't like the original so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something i have plenty of other gimp tutorials on my channel definitely go check those out and subscribe if you haven't subscribed um, pretty helpful stuff on my channel if you're into design if you're into gimp or if you're into any other software tutorials i have that so if you have any questions or comments, if you run into any problems, if you want to share your uh, GIMP splash screen creations, definitely leave them in the comments below. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to see some of your designs. Maybe I'll even use them for my own, um, you know, GIMP splash screens. But that's pretty much it, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.